Hi, I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine, and we're here today with a special focus on Leo. Leo, one of the favorite signs of the zodiac. And that's because every sign is associated with a planet, and Leo is associated with the sun. Doesn't that make that the best sign, Rick? Well, it sure makes it one that has a, an inflated sense of self-importance. No, it, it, all signs are good signs, but Leo's association with the sun is special. The ancients knew that the sun had a special relationship with gold, and gold, of all the things on earth may be the most beautiful and the thing of the most value. And there's the sense of the Leo shining like gold. The, even the king, you know, the ancient kings were like, you know, they were they were they were gold. They were they were they were sun kings. And the sun is worshipped as the giver of life. Leo is creative. It's out it's outgoing. The energy from Leo comes from the center and moves outward like the sun. Yeah, Leo's job is about conscious self expression. You see the zodiac tells a story of personalities developed through 12 phases. Leo follows cancer, the sign of home and family and safety and security. And when we have that inner sense of connection, then it's safe to express ourselves in the world. And the great gift of Leo is to come from the heart to express itself, whether artistically, whether as a cultural or social, cultural or social leader, but that is the strength of this sign. Now, Leo is also known for wanting and getting a lot of attention. And I think that that, as, as you pointed out, Rick, signs all have their positives and negatives. And the positive side of that is that when a Leo shines with generosity, not only does she or he lead, but they come from the heart and they contribute to the culture. But an insecure immature ego is going to demand attention in ways that aren't particularly courageous, generous, nor creative. Now, the other thing about signs in general is that their, their glyphs or their animal totems tell a real story. Leo is the lion. The word Leo is Latin for lion. And the lion is known for its mane, for its roar, for its posturing, for its kind of lion is the king of the jungle. And what's interesting, though, is that lions, as described by, by that boastful, roaring, loud, proud sense of being, is often the descriptor of, of lions but it's really the male lion because the female lions don't spend their time roaring and posturing. They spend their time raising the kids, doing the hunting, and taking care of business. And here we have an interesting difference between the male and female energies of any sign, and I think none is greater, no, no differences are greater than the Leo, where you have that type of Leo who's not necessarily interested in being on center stage, being seen by everyone, but instead showing up, doing the work. I think, Jeff, I think one of the key words for Leo is intention, because when that sun, you know, says it's going to shine, it shines and nothing can get in the way of its light. Absolutely. Leo is a fixed sign. It occupies the middle of one of the four seasons of the year. Fixed signs are stubborn, strong, willful, and Leo is also a fire sign. Fire is the element out of which it is made, and fixed fire is to main that creative center. But I love your differentiation, Rick, between the female lion and the male lion. Astrology is a very powerful force in terms of shaping personality, but so are gender and culture and many other factors, including free will. But I think it also expresses that someone who is truly loving, who truly comes from the heart, is about serving others like the mother lion rather than the immature, egotistical, prideful, prancing, jaggeresque male lion who's very good at shaking his tail feathers but might not be good for very much else. So the real issue, I think, for you lions out there, for your Leos, is to not be afraid to shine your light but to do it in a manner that is loving and caring without necessarily coming from a needy place where you need people to reflect back what you've done or how great you really are. Yeah. And, but even if you're really great. Right. And and for for 
all of you, whether you're Leos or not, part of the purpose of astrology is to describe through the signs 12 ways to experience and explore life. And Leo is that part of all of us, which is a reminder to have the courage, to have a child simplicity, to get up and express yourself with love, open, openness, and innocence, which is a warming and delightfully entertaining aspect of the human experience. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine.